Starting with the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I am Zain Tariq from Electronics Engineering Department, University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, and I am going to present my research titled as Transfer Learning Based Method for Detection of COVID-19 Using X-ray Images. My co-authors are Abdurrahman Sanaullah, John Sumer, Aziz Muhammad Amr Khan and Hassan Aziz Chaudhary. These are the contents that I am going to cover in my presentation. First of all, introduction, then literature survey, then proposed method, finally result and conclusion. As you all know, COVID-19 is an infectious disease and has affected the daily functioning on a global scale and has a mortality rate of about 25%. Uh, COVID-19 resembles most with a severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus and Middle East respiratory syndrome. In laboratory, COVID-19 is diagnosed using RT-PCR technique and radiograph images and doctor did not recommend radiograph based uh, detection because it is hazardous for human beings. Uh, in this article, we propose an IA model for COVID-19 detection and our proposed model is uh, uh, gives a validation accuracy of 99.5% for binary classification. The main highlight of our proposed model, model is that it is computationally effective and can easily be deployed on an embedded system to help medical experts for rapid diagnosis of COVID-19. These are some of the researches that are conducted before and most of them were uh, on chest x-ray and some of them were on CT scan. Uh, and the main issue who, in this re these researches are that uh, there is a huge glass imbalance issue and uh, our prime focus for during conducting this research is that we uh, want to make a, a glass balanced and a computationally effective system. Uh, so for this uh, we used uh, 254 COVID-19 and 310 non-COVID images along with Resina 50V2 and KNN and get an accuracy of 99.5% which I believe is the best among the all. Our proposed method is divided into different phases. First of all, there is a data acquisition. We have gathered data set from different repositories which include GitHub and Kaggle repositories. GitHub repositories were used for COVID-19 images and Kaggle repositories were used for normal images. And I divided the data set into different training and validation sets uh, in 70 30 ratio and then then comes the main process which is pre-processing and training as uh, the uh, limitation uh, in the number of images in the data set we perform the online augmentation during each epoch uh, and apply transfer learning uh, and fine-tuned our mo model and trained 15 different models resnet uh, performed well in our uh, case uh, because it has a uh, optimal number of layers in the um, in the network and uh, the models with the lesser number of layers like VG16 and VG19 mobile nets didn't perform well in our case. Then comes the uh, next process which is the feature extraction and selection. Uh, after training uh, the uh, pre-trained models uh, we extracted the feature from fully collected layers and call them the deep features. Fully connected layers uh, uh, is of size uh, 1024 uh, which is a large number of feature vector. So in order to reduce the number of features we use different feature selection techniques which include analysis of various ANOVA, mutual information feature selection MIFs and chi-square uh, chi method to select best feature from the feature vector. After selecting the best feature, we simply fused them and fed them to the K nearest neighbor classifier to classify between COVID and normal radiograph image. Find KNN with K value of 1 performed best for binary classification and gave us a classification accuracy of 99.5%. Uh, these are the uh, summarization of our whole result that uh, uh, our research is all about. And we have trained different uh, uh, different pre-trained models which include dense nets, uh, inception, res nets, mobile nets, VGGs and nest nets. Uh, and uh, on the uh, left hand side you can see all the trained models and on the bottom you can see uh, different training and validation accuracy of all the models and um, uh, you can see that uh, models with a lesser number of layers uh, didn't perform uh, well like uh, mobile net VGG 16 and VG 19 with um, with almost 50 percent of the uh, training and validation accuracy so in conclusion I can say that we proposed a novel methodology for uh, 
the detection of COVID-19 from using X-ray images, employing deep features, um, and uh, we have tried different feature selection techniques like ANOVA and MIPS, and also uh, performed a feature fusion uh, to uh, to extract best best result from the feature vector. In the end, fine cannon was used for the binary classification. Uh, and uh, our uh, uh, accuracy rate is uh, quite reliable, which is 99.5%. Uh, the limitation of our study is that uh, uh, we have a lesser number of COVID-19 X-ray images as this research was conducted in uh, pandemic time and uh, there was a situation of lockdown everywhere. Uh, so in future, we intend to increase the COVID-19 X-ray images data set by visiting our local hospitals to further validate and support our model. These are the references that we used in this research. Thank you for your time.